cockers! If you love nostalgia, then subscribe to my channel and like this film. I'm here in CBBC HQ for a very special celebration. It's our 35th anniversary, cockers. Now, COVID-19 has meant that I can't have a proper party or props from the art department. However, we can have a proper nostalgia fest. It wasn't always CBBC HQ, cockers, nil. It started as the broom cupboard for Children's BBC. It was then entitled Studio A, then Studio 9, the CBBC office, and now HQ. But the fashions are far more hilarious from the broom cupboard and it involved Philip Schofield. So here's a montage of how they did CBBC HQ in the broom cupboard all those years ago. <laughs> Have you seen his jumper? Oh, come on, talk to me, look. Have you look at this jumper? It says, I'm with the idiot on here. Look. Ulysses. Moving on. I'm here, Zoe. It's now the summer holidays and you're off going out and about. What we want you to do is send in some pictures of the weirdest and the most wonderful things you see. And we've had this one come in. A wood where all the trees have listening ears. You ready for it, Ed? One, two, three. Uh, 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 You may well have seen Andy Peters and Ed the Duck there. Well, I want to know how working for CBBC was for them. But I can't go near them, obviously, Cocker. So I need to dust off the old laptop and get zoomed in. Hey, Ed, Andy Peters is late, isn't he? Is he always been a diva? Always, like forever. <laughs> is a, is Sue Barker's not a diva. <laughs> no, she isn't a diva. She's a handsome woman. <laughs> she's not a diva. She's lovely. She's got a good back hand. <laughs> she isn't. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Uh, oh, nothing. Hello, no, Andy Peters. You're all right, Cocker. Are you two talking about a diva? Who's a diva? <gasps> Sue Barker. Mm, she's not a diva. She's a very nice lady. I've met her many times. I've got a cheeky suspicion you two might have been talking about me. Uh, no. Now, Mr. Non-Diva Andy Peters, what was the purpose of the broom cupboard? The purpose of the broom cupboard, which was started by Philip Schofield, then Andy Crane, and then Ed and I, uh, it was to inform and entertain the nation in between the programmes. So when one programme would finish, we'd keep you entertained, and then the next programme would start. Isn't that right, Ed? <laughs> no, we weren't there to show off, Ed. We were there to entertain and inform the nation. That's what we did. I mean, the other thing we were there to do was to make sure that people watching knew what other shows were going to come up on Children's BBC maybe that day, that afternoon, or that week, or even next week. Brand new shows. We would always promote those, wouldn't we, Ed? <laughs> it was to show off. No, it wasn't. It was to make sure that people knew. And, you know, and when we had shows like Blue Peter that might be having a special event or we'd be introducing a brand new cartoon, it was Ed and I's job to get everybody excited about the new shows. Wasn't that right, Ed? <laughs> it wasn't to show off, Ed. It wasn't to... No, stop saying that because it wasn't to show off. Stop laughing. It wasn't to show off. If it wasn't to show off. Stop saying that. It, no, it wasn't to show off. If you don't stop saying that, I'm going to go. Right, forget it. Bye. I'm off. Oh. Oh, he's gone, Ed. <laughs> you were right, he is a diva. <laughs> Andy, come back. So, cockers, tell us some of your highlights of being in the broom cupboard. We just used to have a lot of fun. That was the number one priority, was have a lot of fun. Wasn't that right, Ed? <laughs> yeah, we used to laugh a lot, exactly. We used to laugh a lot. <laughs> we used to dress up a lot. Uh, comedy outfits. Wimbledon, yeah, we went to Wimbledon as well, Ooh. which was amazing. I'm not talking just like to the tube station and the train station. We actually went to Wimbledon tennis. Take that, take what? Hey, um, 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 yes. Tomorrow afternoon, Children's BBC will be out and about because we're going to Wimbledon, SW19, because we love tennis. When you see that, the next thing you see after that is that, and it's me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm an absolute raving loony. Well, weren't they nice? Hey, Ed's a bit quack as mine. Well, hey, I'm going to celebrate our 35 years by appearing on Zoe Ball's breakfast show on Radio 2. National Radio, cockers, no largey. Now, if you don't mind, I'm off to speak with Zoe Ball. I reckon I'll have a ball. Whoops. Oh, 35 years ago, uh, Children's BBC gave two humble words a brand new meaning. 
broom cupboard, which has been home to so many wonderful presenters over the past three decades. And one of the most recent inhabitants and our favourite show dog joins us now. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Hacker, how are you, darling? Hello, Zoe Paul. How are you, Hacker? Okay. <laughs> I'm OK. You're coming in and out. Are you, are you under a duvet at the moment, uh, making a home studio, Hacker? Yeah. It's what everybody has I've to do. Wigan. I've been Wigan. Have you heard of it? I've definitely I've heard. I've been Wigan Cocker. It's up north. I've definitely heard of Wigan. I've been to Wigan. It's a lovely place. How is life? No, it isn't. In the broom cupboard. It's very well, thanks. <laughs> Happy anniversary to the broom cupboard. That's got into it. 35 years. I'm amazed it's still going. Are you? It is. I, honestly, it's absolutely fantastic. When you look through that list of people who have yeah. worked in the broom cupboard over the years, Loads it's quite big names. incredible. I know Ian Sterling and Jeff. Jessica Bell, Fern Cotton, the list goes on and on. Me. You, obviously, one of our favourites. And you. Me and, and you. Me. And me. And I never got to work with you, although I have worked with you in there. We've worked together many times, haven't we, we Cocker? I know, I know. You're very professional. That's what I love about you. Who has been... I'm dripping with it. <laughs> Thank goodness someone round here is. <laughs> Who's been yeah. your favourite presenter to work with over the years? To work with? I enjoy working with Katie Fisselton, who's on Radio 1. Yeah. I enjoy working with Lauren. I love working with Ian. I enjoy working with Reese. Oh, I like yes. working with Karim, who was on Strictly Come Dancing. You're being, I like all of them. You're being very good. You're being very diplomatic here and making sure you mention everyone's names because I know children's TV presenters can be, you know, we can be we can be quite precious about things sometimes. Um, oh, they'll kick off if I don't mention oh, them. They'll kick no. off I've not got the time for it. I'm waiting for a skip. <laughs> That's exactly what you do. Can I read you a lovely email that's coming, Hacker? Uh, oh, yeah. Hi, Zoe. Is it about me? Well, sort of. Hi, Zoe and Hacker. My favourite CBBC Hello. moment was when the props man, Les, Les, my absolute hero he was, uh, from the broom cupboard, used to call us Dick and Dom as a nickname off camera. It stuck. It really did. Also, uh, the moment our boss, Paul Smith, we've talked about Paul Smith, amazing, very good, close personal friend of Gordon the Gopher, who had hired us separately, took us into his office and said, you know, as you two are mates in real life, let's try and get you together on screen. I think it'll work. 25 ye- le- uh, years later, he was right. That's from Dom, from Dick and Dom. And oh, a little Dom. Oh, and that's how uh, little Dom, <laughs> I'll kill you for that, little hacker. Um, that's, how, that's how they got their name. Dick and Dom. Um, and the great Dick and Dom, aren't they? I like him. I know. How are Children's BBC celebrating such a momentous occasion, Hacker? You won't believe this. I did a Zoom call the other day because we're not allowed to speak to each other in person. There's something going round or something. Oh, yes. I have heard about this little rumour. heard about, about this. this. I know. Thing We've got going to stay round. safe, Hacker. Um, so I did a Zoom call with Andy Peters and Ed the Duck and we're going to put it on my fantastic YouTube channel on Friday, which is Hacker Dog forward slash... YouTube or the other way around. I don't know how it works, do I? I love it. I love that that's such a complicated little address. I'll put that on my social media, though. If you, how well, are, yeah, because I messed it up then. How are Andy and Ed the Duck, by the way? They're having a great time. Ed the Duck spends most of his time now in Devon in a shoebox, which is how he always wanted to end his career. He's loving that. What and it's that? not that dissimilar to what Andy Peters is up to, let's be honest. <laughs> oh, stop. He was doing Lorraine. He was doing Fresh... We oh, love Andy. Well. I know. I've told him. I said, can I be on Lorraine? Because oh. I'd be great on Lorraine, but he said no. Some classic children's BBC shows are coming to the iPlayer soon as well. Uh, Broom, Fireman Sam and Bob the Builder. I see what's going on here, Zoe. Yes. You've been sent the same bump as me, haven't you? I know. Are we reading from the same piece of paper? We've got the same bit of paper here. Also... In separate rooms. If anyone's listening, <laughs> we're in separate rooms. <laughs> we are in separate rooms. Hacker, as always a pleasure. You know, Thanks, Zoe Ball. Don't not forget to follow me on Instagram at Hackety Dog. Take care, gorgeous. Bye, Kaka. Now, where's my skip? So naughty. What can you do for me? Totally uncontrollable. So, there we are. Happy 35th birthday to the broom cupboard. That's a very big milestone for someone like me. I'm only six, Kaka, even safe. though I have been here for 11 yeah. years. Whoops, hey. Subscribe to my channel, like this film, binge watch my playlist, and go out and celebrate the broom cupboard's 35th anniversary! But do it safely, cockers. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs>